Anthony Lift Gates, building better lift gates because we invented them. In order to test this lift, uh, as I said, the first thing you have to do is make sure that you have adequate voltage and you have to make sure that the cables are clean and any corrosion at all needs to be removed. You need to clean them and clean the connections and make sure the connections are as close to perfect as possible. This pump unit is on the back of the truck with all the spray and all the mud and all the dirt and all the ice and everything. So whatever's out there on the road, I can guarantee it's going to be in here. And uh, even though the container has drain holes, uh, you can also assume that some of it's going to, whatever sprays back is going to get on the vehicle. Uh, on the vehicle is going to get on the, on the wiring and on the pump. So uh, don't overlook anything that remotely looks bad. Fix it first. Okay. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've made a little toggle switch here that is an exact duplicate of the switch on the back frame of the truck that normally operates the lift. And I've got access to voltage coming into the center of the switch, single pole, double throw. And then I've got two outputs that I can use to operate either the, um, uh, either the uh, solenoid to lower the lift or the pump to raise the lift. And right now uh, the lift is down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rob power from the main battery cable coming in to the lift. Then I'm going to take one of the switches and I'm going to go into the solenoid spade terminal, which is down. And then I'm going to jump over to the input to the coil, which activates this relay. So now what I have is I have a remote lift operating switch. Well, what's the value here? The value here is that if that switch up on the back is the problem, then this will prove it. Because if I can make the lift function here, then that tells me that the batteries are working, the pump is working, the solenoid's working, the relay's working, everything's working except that switch. Uh, at which point, you've pretty much ruled out everything except that. And that's the point of diagnosis is to know what's working right first so you can then eventually figure out what's working wrong. So, um, let me see which way I got to go here. I don't know. So, uh, the lift is down. So, let me see if I can raise the lift up here. Yep. Okay. Well, what does that prove? It proves that the thing's working, okay? And if it isn't working out there, but it is working in here, then we're not going to do anything in here. We're going to fix out there, okay? This also gives you the ability to operate the lift in a way that allows you to stow it and or uh, remove cargo from it in order to get it to the point where you can work on it. So um, you don't necessarily want to be working on this thing with uh, uh, cargo or a merchandise on the lift and potentially going to fall. So um, if I flip the switch the other way, then the lift should come down. And sure enough, the lift is going down. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it halfway. All right, um, there's that test. Anthony Liftgates, building better lift gates because we invented them.